I burned myself this morning on some hot oil and I have a few blisters here. It's not focusing well. But apparently we have some aloe plant that I can put on it. So I'm gonna try and do that because it really freaking hurts. So it's Friday today and we are heading out to go away for the weekend to Akosombo. It's a town that's like probably an hour and a half, two hours away, and it's along the Volta River. So we're going to stay for two nights with some of friends from some of Ku's friends from school. And yeah, I'm excited. Don't know what we're gonna do yet. Baby's coming. Come, come, baby, come, come. Boo's getting me the aloe. Aloe! <laughs> He's getting me the aloe. Oh, this is horrible. It tastes. Where's the plant? Let me see it. It's, it's falling out of the pot. It's falling out? Yeah, right there. Oh, the pot fell over. But it's still gross. Okay. Oh, be gentle. You see the blisters? Okay. Oh, oh that one especially hurts. It's for Mhm. Mm I always wonder why we have the aloe plant. But I understand why. Uh, okay, it's secreted some yellow substance. But it already feels somehow like it's calming it a bit. So that's good. We also got some biscuits for the road. And we're going to hit up the mm. store to get some more snacks. So we have a couple errands to run. Uh, Boo's texting and driving. We're still in the estates, so it's technically okay, I guess. And then we'll be off. to the room it's like 8 30 at night and we found a place to stay at a little guest house it's called let me see high haven hotel and we're just gonna eat some food oh shit don't mind me okay so we're just gonna eat some food and then I don't know what if we're just gonna stay chilling for the night but I can give you a quick little overview of the room. It's very, very tiny with a massive bed, so I'll show you. So you come in the door and you have your TV, a little table, wardrobe, hideous curtains circa like 19, I don't know, 70. It's like a grandmother's house. Here's the bed, also very grandma-esque. This is like a California king, I swear it's huge. And a little ghetto-ass chair, ghetto-ass rug. And the bathroom just has the sink. There's me. Oh my stomach's showing. A shower and the toilet. And the ceilings are like extremely high in here. And of course, the most important of all, the air conditioning. We're having breakfast now. I'm having coffee. And Ku's having a Milo. And we have bread and egg. We finished breakfast and showered and now I'm just gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna head out. I think we're going to some sort of like park that has different like 
activities, pool, that sort of thing. So I'll take you along as we go. So you know you use the hell out of your powder when the lid just fully comes off now. And you've got like essentially nothing left. But something about it is just so satisfying, like using this much of a product. I love it. It's about 10.30 now and we are heading out. I got my bag, backpack. So I look like a real tourist and yeah. So I how are we doing today? Red. Oh. I don't even know. We'll find out. Well, let's see Val. I hope Val is ready. Oh, it's sunny out. It's not too sunny though. It's bright. Nice. Oh, look at this view. Okay, I'm going to oh, show you. Look at that view. It's nice. It's mountainous. Kavi, say hi. Hi. <laughs> My baby thinks he's young thug with his nurse. AKA a man purse. <laughs> what? Let's try my idea. Okay. Driving down this steep ass hill, there's coffee again. This little uh Go go close the gate, eh? Go go close the gate. But I like this. Did they come? I'm trying to capture this lizard. It's my favorite kind of lizard. It's so multicolored. I don't want to scare it off. But it's so cute. Oh, it's running away now. Damn it. I'm back. It's so cute with this little yellow head. Like a little thing. It's an all the rubbish. Cute little angel. And now it's just on this concrete block. Oh, so cute. It's doing some push ups now. I just love the lizards. Lizard! <laughs> this is where three quarters of Ghana's electricity is produced. Is that a true fact? I'm shit you not. <laughs> okay. So, it come. looks huge. I've, I've been on a tour here before, so I can quickly give you a rundown. Oh, okay. Any smart people? So down below, I don't know what all this is. Electrical shit. So this is the Volta River. Yeah. So the river comes this way. And then there are six turbines. Okay. Okay. If you can see the swirly thin. Yeah. It means the water is going in through the turbine and uh -huh. the turbine is rotating to generate electricity. Okay. So right now I think the water level is very low. Uh huh. Do not recall me doing this. Oh okay. I'm explaining to you, not oh. to my YouTube videos. I thought you were explaining to yeah. You see you see where the water level yes. like 
you see how low it is yes. it's been very very low for the past probably like 10 15 years okay. or 20, even more than that 20 years really? yes yeah, so that's why ghana we've been having uh, electricity problems uh. so there are only two turbines working uh -huh. i think the very first one there and that oh. over there Okay. And sometimes the turbines are actually closed so that you can clean them. And I'm going to be with you in the next 20 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> oh, no, no, no problem. <laughs> from here, where will you be going to? I spotted a target, a couple other targets. I'm thinking it's probably for monitoring the dam, just with paint rather than the nice little monuments we have on our dance. And there used to be so a ferry. Pretty. So this is called Volta, the Volta Lake. Lake. You see the man fishing over there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So apparently this used to be the largest man-made uh, lake because it was dredged. Now it's one in China, but this one still has the biggest surface area. These are so you see all those white buildings there? Yeah. That's a generation house. Okay. So they've got generators in there. Yeah. That's a transformer. All these things you mm -hmm. see that transformers. And these like water slide looking things? Water slides? The, what does the water? Like <laughs> it comes water through goes, those tunnels. Yeah. Remember he said it's at an angle? Yes. And 60 what, meters it drops at. Uh -huh. well, at 60 meters, so based on gravity, it falls, it turns the motor, the yeah, stator, yeah, yeah, yeah. and basically uh, electricity is produced. Hmm. And this dam is made from natural material rather than concrete because apparently it's an earthquake zone. Oh, yeah. So this rock, this is where they took the rocks yeah, from. Blasted a whole bunch of them. This generated the Oh, and up top there is a gantry crane to lift the generators. This is gonna be on my YouTube channel, guys. <laughs> so, we had our educational experience for the day. Yep. It was nice. And basically, we had a tour guide, but Ku was even a better tour guide because. I've already done the trip. He the has a very good memory, so he's done this tour when he was like how old? Ten or something? Oh, no, 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 no. Just five years ago. Oh. <laughs> okay, it was just five years ago, but he remembers it all, so it's my genius baby. Yes. This view is so pretty. Yeah, so this is the, the dam where they blocked it off using the rock from the mountainside. So nice. Baby's ready to go and his friends are still busy having a photo shoot. I can even see the gantry crane rail bringing back terrible memories of surveying at the ports. So they have this also big level. So that we can see what the depth of the river or the lake is. 